Okay, we'll just go and have a look at the Corey Tchaikovsky reaction. Oops. Corey Tchaikovsky reaction. You have to excuse my poor writing. So the Corey Tchaikovsky reaction is a really good uh, reaction for making epoxide. Um, so basically we take a sulfonium halide so if we draw if I have sulfur and I have a CH3 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 that's going to be a sulfonium ion because sulfur's donated electrons into that methyl group there, there. And this can be made from uh, dimethyl sulfide and, and uh, iodomethane, in which case you get the um, trimethyl sulfonium iodide. You treat this with a base, um, for example sodium hydride, and it will deprotonate one of those protons to give you an illid. Now we've seen the illid before, we've even seen the sulfonium illid if you look. Remember the Swern oxidation? If not, I encourage you to have a look at the Swern oxidation reaction. So we find that sulfonium illids are relatively stable. I wouldn't say they're that stable, but stable enough to exist to react with. So that would be CH2 and a minus charge there on the carbon. And then you've got sodium iodide floating around in solution. Now sometimes that's written as a double bond but if you look at the orbitals um, there's no orbital for that to actually go into um, so it can only go into like a, a 3p orbital or something like that so it's, it's got the wrong uh, energy and the wrong overlap really so it's best to write it as the elid structure I always write them as the elid structures but you can sometimes see them as double bonds Okay, so we've got our illid. This is our reactive intermediate in the Cor Cory-Tchaikovsky reaction. I'll just move this down a little bit. And we need something to react it with. So, um, usually what you take is a, an aldehyde. So if we take um, benzaldehyde or something like that as an example. And we react this. I react that with the carbon out there. We should get O minus CH2. I'll tell you what, I'll write that CH2 and I wouldn't normally do that. CH2. And I'll, oh, I'll just write them like that as well. CH3. CH3 plus okay and of course we've got the phenyl group there and we have a proton there as well from the benzaldehyde so the next step is to form the epoxide and that's done quite easily by having a fine leaving group there in the form of the dimethyl sulfonium species. So the oxygen can kick out the uh, dimethyl sulfonium ion as an excellent leaving group to form the epoxide. So I'll just draw that. So there's the final product plus dimethyl sulfide which obviously has the rotten cabbage smell and these protons here are from the CH2 group there so you can imagine if that was a different view DMS attacking a different alkyl halide then you could actually incorporate um, some alkyl group here and another proton or maybe it's a, a different species altogether and then you've got to think about the chirality of these um, centers as well. 
So that is the the Corey Tchaikovsky reaction uh, from uh, trimethylsulfonium iodide reacting with an aldehyde to give an epoxide.